All right, so this problem actually goes on for a little bit longer, but I'm going to pull out these two particular examples right here because I think they basically describe the whole thing. And what it's asking you to do is take a look at these uh, described transformations and come up with an equation, a tra uh, transformed equation, in terms of either function notation or just normal x's, like a regular equation. So let's go through this example and uh, we'll see how this goes. I always like to start these things out by just writing f of x. I write f of x right there. And actually, I type it into the computer. That's why I start this. And then I look through this list and I say, what do I have that's vertical? Because those are pretty easy to deal with. Um, so I have, let's see, I have a vertical stretch by a factor of 4. And when I see that, I just say, okay, so that's a 4 times f that goes outside. So we have 4 times f of x. And I also have this... Um, this thing here, a vertical shift down by 1. So that's 4 f of x minus 1. And we're not done. We still have this horizontal shift to deal with. And the way you do that is, you know, it's easier on a computer when you're typing. But you just insert into that parentheses right there a left shift of 3. Now remember, when you're going left, that's addition. So this becomes 4 times f of x plus 3 minus 1. Okay? Now, when it asks for equation form, what that means is you get the f out of there. That sounds okay. Um, anyway, you um, basically substitute this equation in uh, for f. Okay, so this is 4 times what? What is f of x? Well, f of x is uh, x squared. Okay, that's f. But remember, I'm not doing f of x. I'm doing f of x plus 3. So here, let's, let's come over here for a second. If f of x equals x squared, then f of x plus 3 equals x plus 3 squared. So now I'm going to put that in here. I say 4 times x plus 3 squared minus 1. That is my full equation right here. So let's try that again. Uh, let's do it this time for an absolute value function. And I'll just move a little quicker here. Let's see. Uh, in function notation, I have a vertical stretch of 3 halves. So that's 3 halves times f. I have a shift up by 2 and a shift, another shift left by 3. OK, well, fine. So we have x plus 3 right there. And a shift up of 2 gives us a plus 2. And if I'm writing that using a regular equation instead of function notation, I say 3 halves. Now, what's, what's the equation here? In this example, this lower one, f of x equals the absolute value of x. So that means f of x plus 3 equals x plus 3. Okay, so we just, whoops, I don't want to parentheses there. I want an absolute value sign. Okay, so we just stick that right in here. Absolute value of x plus 3. And then you still have that vertical shift of plus 2 up at the end.